Hello everyone, I am so pleased today to announce the funding of the MSA Coalition's Core G for Genomics. Today we announce the funding of approximately $1 million over two years to six fantastic researchers from the USA, the UK and South Korea. Matt Farah, Henry Holden, Matt Huntelman, Yum Seok John, Han Jun Kim and Dana Vuzman have been funded to seed an incredibly important international collaboration for MSA research. MSA or multiple system atrophy, as many of you know, is a rare degenerative disorder of the brain and nervous system. It results in progressive loss of motor and autonomic control. The pathology in the brain is highly related to the more common disease, Parkinson's disease. The cause of MSA is unknown. It's a complex disease, and this means it's caused by a combination of environmental exposures and complex genetic factors. It could be that it is different diseases in different patients. And that's a very important fact to discover because a one size fits all strategy may simply not work for therapy. If we don't understand what causes this disease, we may not know how to treat this disease. So this is where the collaborative cause of the MSA coalition come in. Core G Genomics has been tasked to specifically address the question, is there a genetic basis for MSA? And the mandate is as follows, to first assemble genetic information from MSA patients living on three continents to sequence additional genomes from MSA patients with a goal of 1,200 additional genomes over the next few years, to share this information through a single database that's accessible to researchers worldwide, to integrate this with ongoing efforts in MSA genomics. This discovery will not happen in a silo. And because it's so difficult, this core will be mandated to sustain the effort by securing government and industry funding. We're under no illusion about how difficult it will be to find this needle in the haystack. This is the structure of the core. Genetic information from surrounding sites will be assembled and delivered to CGAP, which is the clinical genomics analysis platform at Harvard Medical School. Dr. Vuzman will be coordinating this effort. The core collaborators are listed on the left, but of course they will need to collaborate with other ongoing genomics efforts, for example, in Japan and at the National Institutes of Health. The core will integrate tightly with other cores that the MSA coalition is hoping to fund in the next couple of years. For example, we need better models in the lab for this disease to be able to predict what therapies are going to work for patients. That will be the mission of Core M. Core B's mission will be to collect biospecimens and measure biomarkers in our patients. Core E that has already begun funding will be looking at environmental exposures. Without this information, we will not be able to understand how genetic and environmental interactions occur to cause MSA. This is the mission of the MSA collaborative cause. We hope that through collaborative research, we will find a cure. Thank you for your support.